Hello everyone, and welcome to this section on Terraform. So, if you've heard the term Terraform, not the software, uh, you've probably heard of it in terms of uh, terraforming planets, and people talk about one day maybe terraforming Mars. Uh, so what does that mean? So, if you have a dead planet that's inhospitable to life, uh, it doesn't have water, an atmosphere, uh, plant life, of course, anything that would be able to sustain life. And terraforming is just the process of creating those conditions uh, where life can survive. So the software Terraform from HashiCorp is kind of in the same spirit where you take a cloud platform like AWS or GCP or even a local platform like vSphere and you set up infrastructure, places where your code can live and your software can run. Uh, so to get started, let's start with the definition from HashiCorp. So they state it is an infrastructure as code tool that lets you define both cloud and on-prem resources in human readable configuration files that you can version, reuse, and share. Uh, you can then use a consistent workflow to provision and manage all of your infrastructure throughout its life cycle. So uh, there's quite a bit to unpack there, but really it comes down to just infrastructure as code. So why use Terraform? Well, simplicity in keeping track of your infrastructure. By defining it in a file, uh, you can read it, you can see what's going to be made, uh, what the parameters are, what size your disks and uh, types of storage, uh, just little things like that that you can tweak and just see all in one place. Uh, easier collaboration. Because it is a file, uh, you can push it to a repository like GitHub. You can have other people look at it, review it, uh, make their additions, corrections, uh, and then push those changes. And once everyone agrees, you can then uh, deploy that infrastructure. Uh, reproducibility. Uh, so say you want to launch uh, application and it's going to require uh, several resources. You can build those in, say, a dev environment. And then once it's working OK, you can update certain parameters and then deploy it in production uh, or say you have a friend who has a neat project they wanted to share with you and you wanted to recreate it well they can just pass you a terraform file uh, you make a project or what have you update the parameters and then you can recreate that easily and my favorite ensure resources are removed i'm definitely not uh, the most tidy person so once you're done and you don't want to keep being charged for resources it's really great to not have to remember everything you built or everything you tested out uh, you can just run a quick command with terraform and ensure all of those resources are brought down uh, so you do not continue to be charged for them so what terraform is not uh, it does not manage and update code on infrastructure. Uh, it is not made to deploy software, or update software. There are other tools for that. Uh, it does not give you the ability to change immutable resources. Uh, so say you want to change your virtual machine type. Uh, well, you can't do that with Terraform because that would be actually uh, destroying a virtual machine and then you would have to recreate it with that machine type. Uh, that also applies to uh, Google Cloud Storage. If you wanna change its location, uh, you would need to copy that data out, destroy the bucket, and then, uh, well, actually you'd have to create a new bucket, copy the data over, and then destroy the old bucket. I got a little confused there. Uh, it's not used to manage resources not defined in your Terraform files. Uh, so it is not meant to uh, you deploy resources and then outside of your Terraform file, uh, you create, say, a Kubernetes cluster. 
Terraform is not going to manage that because it's not in the files. Uh, so to deploy that, you would uh, create that in your Terraform file and then apply that and it would update that for you. Uh, so what Terraform is? It's infrastructure as code. Uh, I know that's short, uh, but that is very powerful because they do one thing and one thing very well. And that is allow you to make resources with code files. Okay, what these videos are not. They're not a full course in Terraform. Uh, there are plenty of those out there on YouTube. A quick search uh, will bring you some videos that are several hours in length, get very in-depth, uh, some very complex configurations they set up. Uh, really, really neat to go through, uh, but that's not what these videos are. So what these videos are. Um, a very slight introduction to Terraform. Uh, it'll be enough to get you going, uh, standing up infrastructure, and for the purposes of this course, allow you to make some resources for uh, your final project or uh, projects as you go along. And it is enough to make you dangerous. Uh, because you are making resources, uh, depending on the cloud provider and the resource, they can be quite expensive. Uh, so I will caution you and caution you, uh, be very sure of what you are deploying before you deploy it. Uh, there are many things that are fairly safe, uh, but depending on what you're trying to create, uh, that could get a little bit dangerous. So here's a rough diagram of how Terraform works. So you've got your local machine here and you've downloaded Terraform. So that software is running on your local machine. Uh, you get what is called a provider and a provider allows you to communicate with uh, different services that allow you to bring up infrastructure. So uh, say I want to use the AWS provider, I'll define that in my Terraform file, and then that'll reach out here to Terraform or wherever it pulls it from, and then Terraform will use that provider and connect with AWS or, or whatever provider I've chosen. Uh, and you will need some way of authorizing your access. Uh, so uh, whether that's a service account, uh, access token, uh, there's a bunch out there, but we'll get into that. Uh, so what are providers? It's simply the code that allows you, or allows Terraform uh, to communicate uh, to manage resources on, and I have a few here, AWS, Azure, GCP, Kubernetes, vSphere, Alibaba Cloud, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, Active Directory. And actually, if you just go out and Google Terraform providers, uh, these are all the providers they have up to page 74. Uh, so these are just pieces of code that nice people or organizations have created uh, that allow Terraform to communicate uh, with all these different uh, services, I guess you'd call them uh, platforms. Okay, so some key Terraform commands that you're gonna wanna know. Uh, init, uh, which when you have defined your provider, and let me put that back into slideshow. Uh, once you've defined your provider, when you run init, it's going to go out, get that code, bring it down to your local machine. Once you've defined some resources, you can run Terraform plan. And that's kind of what I'm about to do. It's going to show you the resources that will be created. And apply. Uh, do what is in the tf.tf for Terraform files. Uh, so go out and build that infrastructure and do what I've told you to do in these code files. 
and again, possibly my favorite, Terraform Destroy. So that will go out and everything in your Terraform files that's out there as far as infrastructure, it'll bring it down.